So let's start with just a standard outlet. Um, let me show you how we can place some heads. First thing is we're going to place the center. And you'll notice because we had that 35 foot radius set, it automatically sets to 35 foot radius. Our second click is going to be our start. And that can be anywhere we want. For this demonstration, we're just going to click once there. And then I can start to set my manual arc so we can see where we're at. So I'll make a nice little Pac-Man here. Double click to finish it. And you can start to see we're showing our recommended PSI and how many gallons per minute we have. With this, we can go ahead and do our regular selection tool up in the corner. And we have a few fixed points that you'll see. We can move these tags up out of the way if we choose to, if they're in the way of whatever we need. We have our arc start. That is going to control where this runs. You'll also notice that as I pull these in and out, it adjusts my radius if I choose to. My arc end changes the radius if I want to change that. So we can say we want an even 270. There we go. Our arc center is going to control our radius. So we can modify that radius based on our needs. Now you're also saying, well, this is an I-20 head. It's 7.58 gallons per minute. Maybe that's not what I want. So I'm working on two screens here, so I apologize if it things magically show up off to the side here. But what we can do is as we pull this in, you'll notice a few things that as we place this down, we have the ability to adjust this arc. So we can set that to 180 if we choose to. We have our trajectory, our pop-up height. You name it, everything is here. All of the data is here, including this model. But maybe that's not the model we want to use. So we can come in here and we can get from catalog. And up comes all of the nozzle and settings that can be done within the I-20 head. So I'm looking at I-20 and I-20-0-0 is a shrub head. We don't want an I-20-0-0. Here's four inch pop-up. Let's say we're going to use a six inch pop-up. I would like a stainless steel six inch pop-up. So let's roll on down here to an I-20. 06 SS 2.5 because 2.5 has a 35 foot radius max. So we can select that. Now we can go to edit. Within this, we can do anything that we need to. Um, it gives us a full list of everything that's here, which is great. We can check out our performance. This is all the performance calculations based on what Hunter is saying for this head. Everything is here. We're ready to go. That's good. We can modify this if we choose to, but uh, right now we're just going to leave this as it is. And now that that's there, we're going to go ahead and select that. Now this is something I wish we, we need to kind of work on, but it will change that back to a 50 degree. Um, what's nice about that, my opinion, is that we know that we modified this. If it stays exactly the same all the time, it's there. But if we also have it set for a specific value, it starts to change that. So we need to modify this. And that can be modified by, again, selecting the arc, moving that, and then moving over and adjusting that arc to 180 or 360 or whatever we might have. So if we change that to 360, we're good. And we can change that back to whatever we want. And you'll notice that it also changed that to 2.5 gallons per minute. It's changed the model number. We are ready to go. Now one of the things that we can do is we can also come in and reselect a new head. Where do we go? Here's an 06 stainless steel 2.5. I can edit this. And uh, matter of fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to duplicate this head. 
and we'll classify this as uh, let's change this model number to just an I-20. Actually, let's just make this this one. And we can go ahead in the arc and let's just change this to a 360. So now what's going to happen is it's taking all of that standard info and we've made that into a 360 head. So now it changes that to 360. That can come in pretty handy if you have a standard series of heads that you are using on a regular basis. Um, I don't think you'd want to call it model this one, but you can define them so you can easily find those in a catalog and just click them and away you go. So that is one option for you. All right, now the other thing I wanted to show is what we can do here graphically on a few pieces. Let me pull my navigation over. We have our irrigation outlet, our coverage. We are in designed mode. Let's go ahead and select that. Now what we've done is they have a pen. This is your arc. They've given you a color and that works. I think I want to change this graphically for my needs. I'm going to move this a little lighter and I'm going to change my style. I want to fill this with a solid color and I'm going to select a really faint color here and I'm going to deselect this. This is kind of new. You're going to like this graphically. I'm going to change my fill to about a 10% and my pen I want to change to about a 50%. I'm using this at creation. We're going to say OK. And now you can see what's happened. It's actually taking that pen instead of a lighter shade. I'm actually giving it opacity on the outside. And I've given it just a very light fill. The reason I like that is I start to get variations in color for my coverage as I'm designing. And graphically, that works well. Again. What's nice about this is we can define our graphic capabilities up front and save that so it's very fast.